Western Mass News has noticed an increase in complaints about alleged scammers here in Western Mass, both online and on the side of the road. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Locri is getting answers from an expert on what to look out for before you donate. Scammers have a, have a knowledge of psychology that Freud would have envied. And so uh, they'll always try to appeal to uh, whatever is going to get them some money. And sometimes it's our empathy and, and sympathy with situations. An uptick in concerns about people holding signs on the side of the road in the Springfield area, looking for donations to help pay the medical or funeral expenses for a child, as seen in this video captured by Western Mass News. This photo shared with us shows the sign close up. It includes a picture of a boy. Many on social media questioning whether this is real or a scam. Western Mass News decided to get answers on how to spot red flags and what to do if you fall victim to a donation scam. We checked in with our expert on all things scam related, Stephen Wiseman, a professor of white collar crime at Bentley University and editor at scamicide.com. He explains that unfortunately in these situations, it's hard to tell when someone is truly in need. The person with the sign uh, by the side of the road, uh, it's pretty much impossible to, uh, to calculate uh, whether indeed uh, they are a scam or not. And quite frankly, 101 times out of 100, that's going to be a, uh, a scam. Wiseman tells us it's always important to do your research before giving money to charity, which can be hard when giving money on the spot. However, he explains when donating online, it's a little bit easier to do your homework. Do a little Googling and research. Find out who are people involved with that particular situation. And uh, you can go on, you can find stories about it. And if it seems like the uh, the people who are connected directly with that particular uh, story or incident are the ones behind uh, GoFundMe, the GoFundMe page, that helps. He says it's very common for scammers both online and in person to use fake photos that tug at your heartstrings and pull from your wallet. But he explains if you're donating online, you can reverse image search to see if the photo has been used on other sites. And although scams on legitimate crowdfunding sites such as GoFundMe do happen, you can report it and typically get your money back. Also should report it uh, to the Federal Trade Commission because the Federal Trade Commission regulates these. And uh, you also should report it to the local police because in these instances, quite often uh, the, uh, the pleas are coming from local people. Wiseman also advises to never use your debit card when paying online. And if a charity asks for a payment via gift card, it is always a scam. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Regan Lokri. Well, Western Mass News has reached out to local police about the people holding signs requesting donations for medical or funeral expenses for a child around Springfield. Police spokesperson Ryan Walsh providing us with a statement that reads in part, quote, We became aware of the group of individuals collecting money along Boston Road on Sunday. We didn't receive any complaints, so the legitimacy of their fundraising efforts hasn't been investigated. We urge our residents to also give any donations to known nonprofits so that you also know exactly where your money will end up. Stay with us. Western Mass News will be right back.